We are so happy that we are able to start the season of joy, okay, yes. with all of you together, yes. right? Yes. As you, most of you know, we consider you all as our extended family. Amen? Amen. 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 And so thank you for being here. And those who are coming here for the first time, I just want to let you know that uh, we meet here every Thursday at 6.30 p.m. Okay? So every Thursday at 6.30 p.m. So please come and join us and we'll have a good time here with a worship word and uh, talking with each other. Okay? So as we start this evening, I would like to uh, invite uh, Brother Williams here to uh, start the opening prayer. I'm just going to open up with a word of uh, the word from Isaiah 9, verse 6. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulders, and his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Yeah, let's pray. Father God, we thank you, Lord, for this beautiful time and the wonderful season, Father God. This is, not, this is a season, Father God, of giving, Father God. Lord, you came here as a little child. You were born to carry our sins as a burden, Father God. We give you all the glory and we give you thanks for that, Father God. But we wanted to celebrate your birth today, Father God. I pray, Father God, this is being a joyous season. I pray, Father God, every heart and every person who is here, oh Father God, I pray bless their heart with their joy, with your peace, and your everlasting love, Father God. As we celebrate your birth, Father God, help us always uh, remember that you are born for our sins, Father God. You are born for our healing, Father God. You are born so that we can have the joy in fullness of Father God. But we give you all the glory and honor and we give you all the praise. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen.
Christmas is a time where family and friends come together. There's a lot of fun, a lot of food, and gifts exchanged. We see lights, decorations, and there is Christmas music everywhere. It's the one time of the year that everybody is the festive mode. Amidst the busyness and the excitement of the season, let's pause and take a moment to ponder on what Christmas is really about. This evening, we will all walk through the birth of Jesus Christ in story and songs. Sit back, relax, and recollect the journey along. Thank you. Almost 2,000 years ago, a young woman from the town of Nazareth named Mary was visited by an angel named Gabriel. Gabriel told the young woman that she would have a son named Jesus, who would be God's son. At this time, Mary was engaged to her soon-to-be husband, Joseph. When told, Joseph was hurt and confused because he did not believe Mary. The angel Gabriel told him, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife because what is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit and her son Jesus would save the people from their sins. Amen. Amen.
shepherds who were watching their flocks in the fields near Bethlehem. The angel told them the good news of the birth of the Savior and Messiah, Jesus Christ. The shepherds immediately went on their way to find baby Jesus lying in a manger. They bowed down and worshipped him. After some time, three wise men saw the brilliant star in the sky that rested over where Jesus was born. The star led the wise men to the manger. They knelt down and worshipped the Savior and gave him gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. Isaiah 9, 6 For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Christmas is that God loves us and sent his son to die for us. Jesus came to be born and to die to bring us forgiveness and peace with God. He came for every man, woman and child for all generations. He is the king of kings and lord of lords. In the Bible chapter John chapter 3 16 says for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whatsoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life Jesus came for you for me and for everyone Amen. Jesus is a light of the world in the Bible John chapter 14 6 says Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. He loves us with an everlasting love and he is Emmanuel, God with us. Jesus Christ is waiting for each one of us with open and outstretched arms. He is love, he is peace, he is joy, he is hope. Christmas is a great time to find peace with God. Now, let's celebrate Jesus Christ. 